Let's hear your boy. Who's my boy? Drake. That's my boy? Drops a remix of Plain White Tees, Hey There, Delilah. You know this song? I didn't know that was really him. I thought that was just somebody put some AI. I thought it was AI? Yeah. So there's a guy in Toronto named uh, Snow Day, I think. And he did the remix of Hey There, Delilah, like, as a Toronto character. Mm -hmm. And then I guess Drake jumped on that remix. Mm. But uh, you guys think it's really him or you think it's... Uh... No, it's him, but I thought it was a challenge or something. I thought it was like a Toronto thing they were doing. Uh, it's probably like a really popular song up there. But I, I thought a lot of different artists were doing remakes of it specifically in Toronto. I don't know. That's what I was told. And I heard Drake just put his spin on it. What do you think? Smart move by Drake? Here's the thing, man. I saw... Let me hear it. My bad, okay. Word a little bit. Walk one to Lila, double date me if you like me. Bro. Look what Kendrick made him do. It's just too smoky in these streets. You're looking sweet. Oh, don't you be acting me. No, this is what you mean. These are the bobs that Drake was talking about. He's coming back with. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> I have a question. Is this a question? Here's the thing: it, it, you, you asked me a question. You say was that a good move on Drake? Bro, Drake is home already. Yeah, Drake been home. Drake home was, was home before this beef. Mm. There's nothing that was gonna hurt him, right? In this situation, right? You know. If anything, it could only help him, right? But it damn sure didn't hurt him. Like, it's just a record. It's another Drake record. Drake likes to experiment with music. Right. Like, it, it, I, I don't, it don't bother me none. Like, mm. I don't like when Drake sings. I think it's terrible. I think Drake sounds horrible when he sings. Right. That's my personal opinion. So do you think that, that song is whack to me, but it's whack because I don't like to hear Drake sing? You don't think that his star is dimmed a little bit after the beef? I don't think his star is dimmed because of the beef. I think Drake's star is dim because Drake has been running, running this shit for the past decade. And I so think eventually I'm, people just yeah. get and, and and all you need is a reason. Like all all people need is a real reason to be like, eh, hmm. it's okay to not like this guy right now. And Kendrick gave people a real reason. Hmm. That's just the, the, re, the truth of the matter. Because let's be honest, I'm a Kendrick Lamar fan. Been a Kendrick Lamar fan, you know. And I've always said Kendrick is the leader of the new school of this generation, but. Y'all weren't talking about Kendrick like this no. four months ago? Not at all. Like, not at all. Like, nobody was. Yeah. So it's like, eh, it's the same thing. It's just like, and, and also the, the, the good thing for Kendrick is Kendrick does not put out music at the at the rate of the Drakes right. and the J. Coles. So everybody getting, what, four, was it four songs by Kendrick in a span of a week and a half or two weeks? Everybody like, oh, shit. And you gave us a slap mm. and not like us that's ringing out all summer. It's album time now. Mm. Now you about to give us this great show at the Forum on Juneteenth that Taylor won't be at, and he's probably going to announce an album at the same time. I can't time. wait to post my pictures. It's show. like, it's dope. Like, yeah. it's dope. I don't, when, you say, when you say his star has dimmed a little bit, no, I don't think so. I think that on social media, the buzz and shit, people have a negative narrative about him, but if Drake walked through Manhattan right now, it'll be a riot. There's love. If Drake throws a show anywhere in the country right now, it's going to sell out. Yeah. So what is the gauge of... That's interesting. So it's like online perception shows one thing, but in reality, it's not there. You know it's not. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's still yeah. Drake at the end of the day. He came out the 21 Savage show. Granted, it was in Toronto. Everybody went crazy. Yeah. If Drake walked in here right now, Pipsqueak would get a picture with him. You would. I already had a picture with him. But you would get another one. Why not? Exactly. I, like, don't let social media fool you, y'all. Just because... That doesn't make any sense, though. What do you mean? I never said that I wasn't um, a fan. A fan of Drake, though. I'm just saying when it comes to Kendrick and Drake, yes, I'm going with Kendrick all the time. Absolutely. All I'm simply saying is nothing has changed with Drake, yo. Yeah. Except for online artists. Yeah. And it's the same thing with Cole. Y'all did this to Cole. Y'all did this to Cole before you did it to Drake after he apologized. Well, My, Drake, J. Cole apologized. The motherfuckers were saying it was the end of the world for Cole. Career, Cole's career is over. You can't do that as a rapper. Shut the fuck up. I do know I some mean, people that like. They try to go back to Cole, and they're like, man, what he's saying isn't real. Yeah, until he comes out with another album. And then when the banger comes, That's everybody right. gets in line. The fall off drops, they're going to jump right back on his dick. 
J. Cole ride a city bike through goddamn Manhattan right now, needing to feed his son. Motherfucker's still gonna be taking pictures with him. I'm talking, no, but I think they're talking about more so like Cole saying like, oh yeah, I'm the best, da, 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 like saying all that. They don't wanna, they don't not buy it. Yeah, but how many people were listening to Cole because he says he's the best? Right. I don't think he ever said he's the best. I mean, he did, but he I said mean, he's the best. Like, yeah. like, like all like, rappers say they're the best. Yeah, but what I'm saying is I don't think that you listen to him because he's braggadocious. Yeah. I think you listen to him for other other reasons. But I get right. what Charles is saying, which is like there's an online trend which creates a perception that doesn't match up with reality. Because in reality, all these people are going to be loved and respected and like people are going to be excited to finally meet them. And then on Twitter, there's there's a different energy because those people know that they'll never meet that person. I don't think the internet should like you. Ooh, what do you mean? Talk I feel like if the internet likes you, something's wrong. Meaning that you might be pandering to them Ooh. and telling them everything they want to hear. This or is, you may not be that hot. This is it. Because if you were that hot, the natural human reaction would be to tear down. To the tear down, the absolutely. So you build up the people who are the underdogs. So if you're unanimously loved on the internet, that means you're either an underdog or you are pandering to a niche group of people that have yes. no other representation. That's right. I can't make no YouTube reaction video to you if you fucking are, 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 are beloved. You know wow. what I mean? Oh, no, if you're not beloved. The people who are beloved that actually have real bases and have people that really fuck with them yeah i make videos about why do i make videos about them i make videos about them because number one i know their name gonna get clicks that's right facts, yeah. and number two they might have an audience that comes to tell me you don't know what the fuck you talking about so now you're getting money off of both the haters come and on. the celebrators come on i don't want i don't want i don't want to be a twitter darling interesting or a youtube darling <laughs> like yeah talk just talk if, if what i do creates conversation and creates content Thank you. Yeah. Just please pronounce my name right and, you know, hold the book up. <laughs> when you video. do it. That's all. That's it. I don't want to be a YouTube darling. No. That's a really interesting take. But I don't know. I feel like uh, Beyonce gets praise and love, zero Beyonce hate. Beyonce gets so much hate. It's so unbelievable. Hate. Where are you? Where, where does she so get hate? She just happens to have an audience that, that can active. fight back against her. Uh. She, she's actually the perfect person to have something negative to say about because her audience is so active on social media, the Beehive gets so active that if you go out, if you jump out there with a negative opinion about mm -hmm. Beyonce, the Beehive is coming. Yeah. So the country music thing was a perfect thing, oh, right? Oh yeah, you're right. Because country right. music is such a genre that has such passion fans that they want to stand up for the genre. They're going to have an opinion on whatever it is. They're going to have a good opinion about Beyonce doing country or a negative one. So you couple that and then add the Beehive in it. Oh my God. It's a massive recipe for online success. Yeah, I mean, imagine a video that's like exposing the real reason Beyonce sold out and did country. That's getting way more clicks than Beyonce delivered an amazing album. Mm -hmm. I bet you it's up there. Yeah. 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 I bet you yeah, if you Google yeah. YouTube right now, it's already one Because all of Beyonce's super fans are watching that video. Oh, my God. And then any Beyonce hater is watching that video. Mm -hmm. Beyonce's probably watching it. Like, well, why did I sell out? I would like to know. Sometimes it's good to know. I like it's it's funny. Like I can be on Instagram right now and somebody will be like, Ain't nobody buying that fucking book. Yeah. Meanwhile, it's number nine bestseller on USA Today. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, so who gives a fuck? Let people talk. Like, who yeah. cares? Yeah. So I'm saying all that to say Drake has been around too long. J. Cole has been around too long. Kendrick has been around too long. All these guys have been around too long. They're too big to fail. Yeah, Their yeah. audiences will never let them fail, even if they're not the, the popping thing on the internet. Who is the popping thing on the internet? Yeah. Who is the person on the internet that's being celebrated right now? Yeah. It don't happen. That's not the way the internet is designed. Yeah. It's designed for motherfuckers to go on there and shit on people. Yeah. That's what, that's, that is the shit, what's that shit they call? That's the grist for the mill on the internet. Hmm.